It has been exactly one week since a major medical milestone. Last Saturday at Boston's Massachusetts General Hospital, surgeons successfully transplanted a kidney from a genetically modified pig into a living person. The patient is a 62-year-old man in the end stages of kidney disease who volunteered for the procedure. In the U.S. alone, thousands of people die every year waiting for organ transplants, and there's hope that using animal organs, so-called xenotransplantation, could solve the shortage. Well, for more on this landmark surgery, I'm joined by Dr. Tatsuo Kawai, one of the surgeons who carried it out. Dr. Kawai, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us, and congratulations. Can you talk first about what that moment was like when you realized that this surgery had been successful and just how significant that is? So, um, when we completed the uh, transplant procedure and uh, restored blood flow, the immediately picked up and started to make urine. That moment, uh, we thought this kidney will go on a long time. Wow, and, and, and how, how significant is this, you know, for, for all, of, all of those thousands of patients? The organ shortage is so much. And actually, I went to the patient uh, uh, and, um, conference and uh, they pushed us. Um, they uh, really wants to us to go ahead. So that uh, is a strong reason uh, we uh, uh, perform this transplant. And it's been a week now. How is your patient doing and is he going to be discharged soon? The patient is really doing great and no complication. And uh, his kidney functions are getting close to normal. So um, he's off dialysis and uh, doing fine. Great. And can, and can you tell us maybe a little bit more about, about him and why it was important to him to, to volunteer for this surgery? Yes, actually, he's a, a patient of mine, and uh, I have taken care of him for the last uh, 13 years, but um, including the uh, last human transplant kidney done in 2018. But that kidney only uh, functioned about four, four years and uh, lost due to other reasons. But... Um, you know, he has been suffering from the uh, di getting dialysis because to do dialysis, um, they need a vascular access. But uh, she, he doesn't, since he doesn't have a good uh, vessel, so it's very difficult to maintain vascular access. So he has to go to the uh, um, uh, emergency de department every week. And uh, she got like a uh, multiple, multiple procedure, radiological procedure and surgical procedure just to maintain dialysis. And can you explain why pigs are the animals that, that we're using for these types of transplants and, and how we're modifying their genes? So uh, pig is um, exactly almost same size uh, with the human's organs. And uh, a pig bleeds very rapidly. Uh, within uh, one year, they um, grow to 100 kilograms. And uh, we uh, deleted uh, three genes, big genes, uh, to, that can cause rejection, and inserted uh, seven human genes uh, to protect the graft. And also, in addition, agenesis did uh, uh, inactivated uh, in uh, endogenous uh, little virus, which is already incorporated in the pig genome. So um, we don't have any uh, concern about the PERB, uh, that little virus. And I should mention that it's not the first time pig organs have been transplanted into living humans. There were two heart transplant patients in recent years, one of whom lived for two months, the other for six weeks. What kind of outcome are we hoping for in this case uh, with your kidney patient? Before you know, uh, doing this uh, uh, transplant in humans, we have we have done many um, preclinical studies using no monkeys, and uh, you can see the uh, results in Nature uh, published in October. But um, longest survival of the uh, those uh, non-human uh, over two years, and uh, we expecting uh, longer than that. And are there any concerns about these types of transplants? Concerns, um, we have, you know, of course, uh, you have to uh, monitor potential infection. Uh, so our infectious disease specialist and FDA is uh, um, uh, 
closely monitoring, monitoring patients and um, uh, close contact. So, uh, but we have to do it. But um, since we, we have been uh, doing this kind of trans transplant using monkeys a um, long time, so, but no one has uh, any uh, infection. Uh, so I think I'm optimistic um, and so far everything negative. So. And this is probably not possible to answer, but perhaps you could give an estimate. How long do you think it will be before using animal organs for transplants becomes sort of the standard procedure? Well, we still have to go uh, slowly, prudently, and uh, make sure the safety and uh, uh, make sure the efficacy, you know, efficacy of this transplant is uh, good enough to um, do more patients. So it takes probably at least a couple of years. And uh, by collaborating with other medical centers, we can uh, uh, go on forward very rapidly, hopefully within five years. All right, well, we are crossing our fingers for your patient. We wish him all the best. Uh, Dr. Tetsuo Kawai, thank you so much. That's Dr. Tetsuo Kawai, one of the surgeons who carried out that incredible transplant of a genetically modified pig kidney into a human patient.